DeepSeek is the new kid on the block and it's become a threat to OpenAI, but how good is it actually? We're gonna be finding out in this video and building a DeepSeek agent from start to finish and integrating it into SMS so that it can actually handle real world conversations. I'm gonna be providing you with all the templates and resources completely for free so that you can recreate this in record time. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Now the tech stack that we're gonna be using for this video is N8N, which is originally a workflow automation builder, but it also has a lot of AI agent capabilities, and it's what I've been using in most videos on this channel. I also have a full course on building AI agents, which I'm gonna link down below, and you can go ahead and watch that if you wanna learn everything and become a professional at building these AI agents. We are then going to go ahead and use Go High Level to actually do the SMS functionality, so we're gonna set up SMS inside of Go High Level, and we're gonna connect the N8 an agent to go high level to actually have real world SMS conversations. Now, as for DeepSeek itself, we all know that this is the Chinese version of OpenAI. It's much, much cheaper. They built it much, much faster and it just rivals OpenAI in a lot of ways. Even their domains are similar. So if I go to the API platform, which is what we're gonna be using in a second, it's platform.deepseek.com, which is the same as OpenAI. It's platform.openai.com. So they tried their very best to recreate OpenAI, but is it just as good? We're gonna find out in this video and actually build a real world use case. Now, in order to get started, first we need to sign up to N8N. All you need to do for this is click the link down below in the description, sign up to N8N. You can get started completely completely for free on a free 14 day trial. And once you do, you're gonna see this overview page right here. You can simply go ahead and click on create workflow and it's gonna open up a blank canvas, just as what you see here on the screen, which is where we're gonna be building out our agent. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a first step and we're gonna search for webhook. This webhook is what we're gonna be using to trigger whenever an SMS message is sent to us, we're gonna trigger this webhook to generate a reply from the AI agent and send it back via the webhook. Now what's important here is that we need to make sure that we have the method set to post, otherwise none of what we do is going to work and we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here for now. We're then gonna click on the plus and we're gonna search for agent, which is gonna bring up the AI agent node. We now have the AI agent node added. What we're going to do is the source for the prompt. We're gonna select as define below. We're gonna set that up in a second and make sure that you have a tools agent selected. This is usually the go-to setup whenever we build any solution is the tool agent right here because it allows you to integrate tools to the agent itself. Now, I'm not gonna go into specifics on the tools in this video, but like I said, a lot of videos on this channel, so go ahead and check them out if you'd like to learn. For the chat model, we're gonna click on the plus and we're gonna go ahead and search for DeepSeek. We're gonna set up the DeepSeek node here and we're gonna need to go ahead and connect some credentials. For this, we're gonna click on the dropdown. We're gonna click on create new credentials and now we're gonna need an API key. To get this, we're gonna go to deepseek.com click on the API platform in the top right, which is gonna bring us to this dashboard. Now I've already added in some balance right here. I just topped up $10, but if you haven't done so yet, you're gonna need to add a little bit of money to DeepSeek itself in order to be able to use it. We're then gonna go ahead and click on API keys in the left-hand corner, and we're gonna click on create new API key. We can now name it, which is gonna be n 8 tutorial. We're gonna click on create API key and we're gonna copy out this key right here. We're gonna go back into N8N, paste in the API key and click on save. It now went ahead and tested the connection and the connection was tested successfully, which means that it is set up correctly. We can now specify the model that we want to use where we can use DeepSeek Reasoner or DeepSeek Chat. We're gonna go ahead and use DeepSeek Chat right here. There's also additional options similar as with OpenAI, such as, for example, the temperature, the presence penalty, the frequency penalty, and much more. For this video, I'm just gonna use the temperature and we're gonna set it to 0.3. Now, the next step is going to be to set up the memory node. And for this, we're gonna click on memory. We're gonna select buffer window memory, which is integrated directly into N8N. And we're gonna select the context window length, which is by default at five, but I prefer doing 10. So this means 10 back and forth conversations between the AI and the human, 10 back and forth 
messages are going to be saved as memory and provided to the agent. Now that we have this set up, we're gonna go ahead and click on the agent itself. And we're gonna add an option here, which is gonna be the system message option. Now this is gonna be the system prompt that we're gonna be using for this agent. For this, I'm simply gonna open it up and I'm gonna find a prompt which we wrote for a previous video and I'm gonna paste it in here. So I'm gonna paste in the prompt right here. And as you can see, it has role slash context, the style, instructions and a task. And it's for a fictitious company called Omni Skincare, which is the skincare division of Omni Fusion. Now in order to test this, if we wanna test that the deep sea connection is working, we're actually gonna get rid of this webhook for just a second. We're gonna search for the chat trigger we're gonna drag the chat trigger in here. We're gonna connect it to the agent. And inside the agent, we're gonna use the connected chat trigger node as the source, which is when we can now go ahead and click on save, click on open chat, and we can actually send in a message. So we sent the message hi, we're waiting for a reply. So, and as you can see, after a little bit of waiting, and in this case, I did notice it was slower than OpenAI is, we got a reply back from the AI to our message saying hi. So while it was a lot slower, it did end up working. And as you can see, it took 18 seconds for it to generate a reply, which in reality is really, really slow when compared to GPT-4.0. So that is already a downside that we can notice right off the bat when it comes to DeepSeek itself. Now we actually have this part set up. As I said, we're not gonna get into too many crazy features for this agent itself, since it's more about the integration inside of SMS. We're gonna go ahead and delete the chat trigger node and hook the webhook node back up. We're also gonna click on the plus at the end and we're gonna look for the respond to webhook node, which is gonna send our response back to go high level so that we can actually send it out as an SMS. Now, the next step is gonna to be to go to go high level. Link is also down below in the description. So you can sign up for a 14 day free trial if you don't have an account yet. We're gonna go ahead and click on log into app. And now we need to switch into the specific sub account which we want to use. However, before we do that, if you don't have a sub account set up yet, you can go ahead and click on sub accounts. You can add a sub account here, which is what we're gonna to use to actually handle these conversations. It's gonna make a lot of sense in a second. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on settings. And in the settings, we're gonna click on phone integration. Now in the phone integration settings, there's two options. You can use the lead connector phone system, which is recommended. It's the easiest way to get started. And I would also recommend it to you. Or you can connect it to Twilio directly, which is a provider for you to get phone numbers and be able to send SMS and facilitate SMS conversations. Now, as you can see, I have Twilio connected. However, in your case to get started, I would simply go ahead and click on use LC phone system, follow the steps, you're gonna to need to verify your business, and it's gonna be much more seamless for you guys to do it this way. We're not gonna walk through the process, but if you go ahead and click on use LC phone system right here, it's gonna walk you through the exact steps that you need to follow. You can then, once that is connected, go to the sub account settings, and here you're gonna be able to find the sub account that you wanna use, in my case it's Emil YouTube videos, and you're gonna be able to see if it's managed by a specific provider. If not, you can click on the link button right here and connect it to your lead connector setup. In this case, it's managed by Twilio and I'm gonna keep it that way. Now we need to go inside of the sub account. For that, we're gonna click up here in the top left corner. We're gonna find the specific sub account and we're gonna go ahead and click on it to open it up. We are now inside of the sub account and here there's a couple important things that we need to do in order to make the testing later possible. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and click on contacts and here you can click on the plus and actually set up a contact. For this, you're gonna click here, specify your name and the phone number that you're gonna wanna use later on while testing the AI agent. You can then go ahead and click on save. It's gonna have your contact set up. In my case, I already have myself set up as Emil Goat. We're then gonna go ahead and click on automation. And here I have an SMS agent template. Now this template is gonna be available down below in the description uh, in our free school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. If we click on the template, you can see that it's actually a very, very simple setup. If a customer replies on the reply channel SMS, we go ahead and do a custom webhook to NA10, and we then send out an SMS with the reply that we got from the custom webhook. Now setting this up is actually incredibly easy. All we need to do is go to the custom webhook node. So now we're gonna go back into NA10, we're gonna click on the webhook node, and we're gonna make sure that we select test URL. Before we test it though, we need to make sure that we have the respond set instead of immediately to using respond to webhook node. 
make sure you go ahead and save this. Then we can go back into the webhook, click on test URL, copy this URL, and click on listen for test event. This is now going to listen and see when a webhook comes in from Go High Level. Now for this, we're gonna go into Go High Level, click on the custom webhook, make sure the method is set to post, and we're gonna enter the URL that we just copied into this field right here. The rest can stay as a default. As you can see here, we're sending the contact ID and the message body, which is what we're gonna be using in N8 in a second. And we're gonna go ahead and click on test again. Here, we're gonna select the contact that we just set up previously, and we're gonna click on send test request. Now, if we go back into N8 we can see that the node was executed successfully, and we have the ID and the message right here. Since I didn't actually send a message and it's just a test request, the message value is null which is perfectly fine. We're now gonna exit out of this and go to the AI agent. Here, we're gonna change the source for the prompt and we're gonna change it to define below. And what we're gonna do here is select expression, scroll down, find the message, and drag in the message variable into the text field over here. Now we're also gonna need to get the ID. And in order to do that, we're just gonna copy the ID in here. We're gonna copy it out and delete it from here because this is not where we want to place it. Instead, we want to place it inside the window buffer memory where we're also going to select define below and expression. And we're going to paste in the key right here. Now, this agent has memory specific to the user ID inside of Go High Level. So every single user that messages us is going to have their own user ID. And it gets the message from the webhook, which is what's going to be triggered from Go High Level. We can now go to the respond to webhook node and click on execute previous nodes. This is going to execute the previous node and actually generate a message from DeepSeek. Now, since we know that it takes a while for it to generate, in this case, it didn't take as long as it did last time, but it's still slower than GPT-40. But we now have the message from the AI right here. We're gonna take this. First, we're gonna change the respond with node. We're gonna change the text. Here, we're gonna select expression and we're gonna drag in the output, which we just got from the previous node. And this is what we're gonna be sending back into Go High Level. We can now go ahead and exit out of here, click on save, and we're gonna activate the flow. By doing this, we can now use the production URL, which is gonna be the final step of the puzzle. So we're gonna take the production URL, copy it, go back into Go High Level. Inside this webhook node, we're gonna paste the production URL in place of the testing URL. We're gonna go down, we're gonna click on test again. We're gonna select the contact, Emil Goat, and we're gonna click on send test request. As you can see, the request was a success with status 200. And if we scroll down, we can see that we actually got the reply back from the AI. We can then go ahead and click on save action because this is now complete. And we can then go to SMS. And here we're gonna have the response from the webhook node, which we're gonna send out as an SMS message. Now, if it's empty for you, you can simply click on custom values, go to custom webhook, select the number two custom webhook right here, and click on response, which is then gonna input the response right here. We can now go ahead and click on save action, save the entire flow, and make sure that it's published up here. If it's not published, the next step is not going to work. So we now have the AI agent inside of NA10 using DeepSeek, and we have it integrated with Go High Level using the SMS functionality. Now, all that's left to do is to test it. Now, what I like to use, since I'm not an American, is TalkU. TalkU allows me to buy a phone number, a virtual one, and actually go ahead and test in real life conversations. Now, in order to actually do this test, we're gonna exit out of the workflow. We're gonna go to contacts, we're gonna click on the contact that we want to test with, which is gonna open up the conversation flow right here. Now, as you can see, I have previous tests from previous videos. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy this number right here, which is the number that we just set up previously with either Lead Connector or Twilio, which is the number that the AI is going to use. So that's the from number. We're gonna take this number, we're gonna go into talk you, and we're gonna start a conversation with this number. If you are able to handle SMS conversations on your phone, you're gonna be able to use that as well. What I'm gonna do now is I'm simply gonna go ahead and send a message. I'm gonna say, hey, I want more info. We're gonna send out this message. It now appears inside of Go High Level. So we see, hey, I want more info. If we go into N8N and we click on executions, we're gonna be able to see that right now an execution is running which is the specific message that we just sent, and it completed in nine seconds. So we can click on the AI agent, 
and see that we got the message, hey, I want more info, which is what I just texted. We got the reply, which is of course, I'd love to help. So we have the reply right here from DeepSeek, which by the way, as a side note, I like the fact that it's using emojis. I know when I tested it with GPT-40, it didn't use emojis as well. So while DeepSeek is slower, Currently, it seems like it's actually handling the conversation itself a little bit better. We can now go back into Goha level and we can see that we sent out that message saying, of course, I'd love to help. So that's the exact message that AI generated. And now if we go into talk you, we can actually see that we got the reply back via SMS as well. We can now keep the conversation going where I can just say, I have really bad acne and it hurts my confidence. So we're gonna go ahead and send that message. We're now gonna receive it here inside of Go High Level and the entire loop is going to repeat. So if we go into NA10 and we look at the executions, it just added in another execution, which is currently running. Now this execution actually took 17 and a half seconds to execute, but we now got the reply back over here and we're gonna receive it in talk you to our phone number as well. Now we have everything fully integrated. We have the AI agent set up with DeepSeek. It's working inside of SMS. My thoughts on DeepSeek personally is the slowness of it can be a hindrance. So if you're using a live chat on a website and you have a chat widget in the bottom right hand corner, having a time delay of 17 and a half seconds to generate a reply, and this is without using any tools, it's not integrated to Google Calendar, it's not syncing with the CRM, is a very, very, very long time. However, when it comes to the pure actual conversational skills, I must say I'm pretty surprised by the fact that it's using emojis so well, which is already something that OpenAI struggles with a little bit when it comes to actually using the right emojis at the right time. So while it may rival OpenAI in the way that it speaks, in the way that it handles things, and obviously we haven't tested tools yet, I feel like the speed of DeepSeek alone is gonna be a reason why I'm not gonna be using it in production for clients, and OpenAI still is the better and safer option because DeepSeek has not been around for that long. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for a lot more content like this in the future. If you want access to the templates, join our free community at school.com slash Omnifusion. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.